I am Shi Chan Sung from Busan. Uh, I'd like to show you uh, three specimens uh, which have uh, DORV, very interesting cases. Uh, first, uh, the specimen I'd like to show you is uh, uh, not operated cases. So uh, I put, uh, my hand is a diaphragm, and uh, you can see here, this is a right uh, atrium with a broad space, and uh, this is a typical left atrial appendage, I think. Uh, I skip to the ventricular morphology rather than at, at, uh, atrial morphology. I open the right ventricle here. You can see. Yes. This is a right ventricle, uh, uh, the structure, the inter in internal structure. You can see here there is a uh, papillary muscle in septum, which is a very important char characteristic of a uh, right ventricle. And uh, this patient has a tricuspid valve here, here. And you can see here, this is a, 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 a rather small great vessel having coronary artery here. So this means, and then arch vessels, and this means a aorta. So you can see the aorta is rising from right ventricle here. Then you can see another large uh, great vessel here, here. So this patient had a branching uh, vessels, which means a pulmonary artery. So you can see these uh, two great vessels are rising from the right ventricle here. So and. Uh, you can see that this is a, a coronal septum between the uh, great vessels. I think the, this is coronal septum. It is not already it is not the septum because uh, this is a, a structure of uh, uh, right ventricle, only right uh, a structure of right ventricle. So you can see this is a large VSD, large VSD here from the VSD. But uh, the VSD type is. Maybe I think uh, this patient, uh, there is uh, some muscle bundle here. This is tricuspid valve. This is mon muscle bundle. Uh, this uh, defect is outdated muscular septal defect. But I think uh, if th there is no, it's very difficult to identify. If this is a fibrous, only fibrous tissue. This is a perimembranous VSD. Uh, and uh, we are going to, to the left ventricle here, left ventricle. So you can see the uh, two papillary muscles here and the mitral valve here. And then uh, you can see this uh, is a large defect here. This is mitral valve, this is large defect. So it is uh, very hard to see the entire uh, uh, great vessel from the left ventricle. So this uh, patient had a double out right ventricle. But I think this patient, uh, the pulmonic valve there, there is a fibrous continuity between the pulmonic valve and this uh, mitral valve. Mitral valve. So it is very hard to uh, this uh, patient have a tau beam. I think the, this is not the tau beam anomaly. So it is better to term this uh, to say uh, double outlet light ventricle with a sub pulmonic VSD here. So uh, the, uh, the operation is simple, but in, uh, usually in this case, the aorta is small, so uh, you, you can see the aorta is small, so we have to find out the outer arch anomaly, because uh, uh, in, uh, like this uh, morphology, usually one half of the patient had a uh, outer arch anomaly, so uh, yes, this patient had uh, also a very small uh, isthmus, but uh, do you think this is a, do you think this is a, the coarctation? But uh, they did not touch. Uh, so uh, maybe I think the, if, uh, if this patient is mine, uh, my patient, so I, I do the baffle patch through the VSD and pulmonary artery, and then we, I repair uh, the, uh, the, the switch the great vessels. And uh, concomitantly, I, I have to repair the arch also. So, but the, already this patient uh, survived some time. It is not the neonate. Maybe uh, this patient had a great uh, uh, pulmonary artery with a pulmonary hypertension, uh, uh, hypertension, I think. 
So in repair of this type of uh, anatomy, uh, we have to, uh, uh, it, it, uh, the, the great artery, the size mismatch is some problem, but uh, uh, I usually do the patch, uh, large uh, patch enlargement of uh, uh, neo uh, aorta, then I repair the switch, there's no problem. So it is a very good uh, method to solve the large disparity of the uh, great uh, vessel size. Yes, uh, this is a, a typical, I think this is very typical uh, Tau Zibing anomaly. So uh, this is a uh, right, uh, right atrium, broad, broad, uh, broad base right atrium, left, uh, left atrial, maybe I think there's small left atrial appendage. So I don't uh, like to uh, see the uh, uh, soli uh, solitus. Uh, this is, I think, the uh, cytosolitus. So this is very interesting. Uh, cases. So you can see the, uh, this is uh, ascending aorta. As I s and so I opened uh, the the right ventricle. So they made a a conduit baffling uh, into the, uh, in the right ventricle to repair this anatomy, this anomaly. So I think this is the tricuspid valve. As you can see here, this papillary mass is attached to the septum. This is tricuspid valve, and Aorta is here, it is small here. This is a large pulmonary artery, as I said in the previous specimen, large pulmonary artery. And we open the left ventricle here. So you can see the uh, large papillary muscle and tri uh, uh, mitral valve. And uh, it is hard to see the uh, aortic valve from the left ventricle. And so you can see this, uh, the two great vessels are arising from uh, wholly uh, in right from right ventricle. Uh, in uh, 1987, they uh, uh, they used uh, they repaired this anomaly using uh, intra uh, ventricular uh, conduit baffling. Uh, but uh, uh, but I think we have to uh, see the uh, whether. Uh, the patient have arch anomaly, they use, I think that this patient had a coarctation and they repaired with a patch augmentation, repaired, you can see here, and they made a, uh, the conduit uh, baffling. But also, uh, say, uh, I, again, uh, in, uh, maybe I think uh, in these days, usually we do the baffling to the pulmonary artery and then switch with the great vessel. Okay, this is a, uh, maybe I think there is a, there have been some uh, ventriculotomy uh, uh, for the baffling of the uh, conduit baffling. It's very interesting post-operative uh, bulge. So uh, in this case, also very, very uh, interesting cases. This also patient had a salitus situs tolitus is the right atrial appendage, left atrial appendage small. But we, we, we have to go, uh, if we go to the left, right ventricle, it's very strange. Um, this is a, a great vessel, and the aorta is coronary artery here. So this is the right ventricle morphology, you can see. So the uh, aorta is from right ventricle. Then another space here, this is a right ventricle, also right ventricle. And the, a baffling like this. This is a pulmonary artery. So, to this great vessel arise, uh, arising from the right ventricle, there is another one, another one space. This is a real left ventricle. You can see here, but uh, there is a large defect uh, without the uh, great vessel. So, this patient uh, uh, had a uh, double of the right ventricle, but uh, in, in uh, the, the, the surgeon in the past repaired the, the uh, tunnel repair from the uh, BSD and here this is uh, another space another sub uh, aortic space understand this 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 another uh, this sub aortic space 
special subaortic space. Actually, this is right ventricle, but they used this one is uh, subaortic tunnel, subaortic uh, left ventricle. They made this one. So I, I, I understand uh, the, uh, uh, this patient survived for some time. And understand this, this left ventricle, this is subaortic space, some subaortic space. It is also right ventricle, but they used this space is a left ventricle pathway. The uh, uh, system, uh, ventricle, uh, systemic uh, circulation pathway. And then this is tricuspid valve here. Tricuspid valve here. This valve. This is wholly right ventricle. Very interesting case. Or, but basically, I think uh, uh, this uh, 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 morphology is a uh, uh, Taujbing anomaly, I think. But uh, if the patient uh, underwent the inter inter interventricular babbling uh, from the VST to the pulmonary artery, maybe I think the, uh, the operation was uh, simpler. <laughs>